Hello everyone, this is Heather and I am back with another video. This week's video is for Emerald Creek. I am on their design team and I am doing a layout for the challenge that they have over at their dares blog which i will link below and the challenge is all about superheroes so it can be any kind of project created about superheroes basically and that is to do with the upcoming um canadian scrapbook carnival or actually it's now the creative scrapbook carnival that's a magazine that we have here in canada and it's also in the states now and it's a big convention that's coming to my city, Calgary, um, in September, and it's also going to be in Edmonton. So yeah, the theme of that is superheroes, and so Emerald Creek wanted to also do a superhero-themed project. So as you saw, I had this Wonder Woman thingy <laughs> printed off of the computer, a graphic, I guess, and I just printed it off on normal printer paper, and I sort of lightly traced it with pencil so I could get the general shape on my paper here, and then I used a couple of Emerald Creek stamps. Um, one, The bigger one is the lily, and the smaller one is the daffodil, and I just stamped those using um, fired brick distress ink. And the Distress Ink is water soluble, so now that I'm watercoloring on top of it with my um, water brush, the lines of the stamped images are bleeding a bit, which I actually really like. It adds to the watercolor effect. And so as you saw, I just stamped that ink, the fired brick ink, on my glass piece there and watercolored it with my water brush. And then I also ground up some of the Distress Crayon, the red one from the Distress Crayon set, and did the same sort of technique. So it just basically added another tone of red into this, which I like. And now what you see me doing is I'm using the Emerald Creek Clear Embossing Powder just over top of all of this so any areas that were still wet the powder sticks to it and basically the areas that it stuck to were the splatters as well as the places that I had used the distress crayon on so I really like the effect of that and what I was initially planning is to use this printed graphic and cut it out from a second sheet of white cardstock, which you see me doing here. And then I was just going to pop it up on foam and layer it with that background that I created. But it will take a bit of a twist, which you will see later on. So right now... <clears throat> Excuse me, I'm just using my craft knife to cut this out, and I'm being quite careful because the inner part is very detailed, which you will see when I do the reveal here. And so, um, one little area I did end up tearing, but it was pretty minor, so I didn't even bother trying to fix that. You can see on the left side of the wing there, it's just broken a bit, but that's okay. So here is the layered look, and I really like this, but I'm going to add an extra bit of flare here. And so I'm adding some adhesive to this thin area of the Wonder Woman logo. Um, I don't know if I even mentioned that, but this is the Wonder Woman logo, and that's the superhero that I chose to do this layout about. Um, if you were perceptive in seeing my thumbnail or my picture that I showed at the beginning, this is going to be a layout about my mom, which I thought was really appropriate, and you'll see in the journaling later that I do relate the two subjects. So. I glued this onto some acetate and I'm just using nail polish remover and a little q-tip to get any of that extra glossy accents off of the acetate on the front of the design because I wanted it to be quite clean and um, I did end up getting a bit of glue on there but it was fine in the end. I just um, removed that with the nail polish remover. So now what I'm doing is taking this foam, and it's adhesive on one side, so I'm just cutting the shapes I need, and then I'm placing it on my layout. You can see here that it is already die cut into shapes, and this is because it came in a kid's craft kit, and these shapes were for specific crafts, but I am not using that anymore, so I'm just reusing this material, and I'm going to put that foam all around the edges of my logo and then I'm using some 
cardboard, which ended up being the exact same thickness as the foam, so that worked out really well. Just, I'm using that to fill in the rest of the areas because I didn't have enough foam, so that gives it a bit more of a stiffness too. So, as you can see now, I am creating a shaker pocket, so that's the twist that I was talking about. I'm just throwing in some star sequins, which I think is really appropriate because Wonder Woman, of course, has stars in her alternate logo as well, and on her little outfit thing, her uniform, I guess, so I thought that was really cool that I happened to have star sequins. And I just put some other sequins in there and some gold glitter, and I'm adding some adhesive to the cardboard and then I'm going to use my tacky glue to add a very secure um, adhesive around on that foam. I decided to use the glue instead of some um, just roller adhesive because I knew that it would bond right away with the cardstock I'm putting on top right now and I am not patient enough to um, wait for a different kind of glue to dry for a very long time and it would provide a much better hold than just um, a tape runner. So that is what the shaker looks like. I'm really excited about this actually. It looks so pretty in real life and in the photos at the end as well as the photos on my blog you'll be able to see how glittery and fun this really is. So definitely check out the extra photos on my blog. Um, now I'm just preparing my photo on the layout and I've also stamped some more of those Emerald Creek images and I really love how they turned out on the background so I did some more of the same technique using that um, watercolor brush and just fussy cut them out. I really love how those images look. And I had two of these photos printed out, so I just used one sort of behind to create more depth in my layering, which I don't do often, but I actually like how the layered photos look. So I'm just arranging those stamped flowers in there. And I think this is one way to really get the most out of your stamps because a lot of people find it easy to use them on cards and other projects but rarely do we use our stamps on our actual scrapbooking layouts so I'm just showing you one example of how you can kind of create your own embellishments using some of your more detailed stamps like these flowers which I love um, and so I will definitely link you to the Emerald Creek shop if you're interested in any of the other Emerald Creek products please check out the shop as well and of course come over to the emerald creek dares blog to join in on this challenge you can create any kind of project that is superhero themed it doesn't have to be a layout it could be a card it could be a mixed media project or anything else you can think of so definitely come over and participate you have the chance of winning a 25 dollars gift card to the emerald creek shop which is awesome because she has some awesome products so here I took a rather old chipboard font in, it is from the dollar store actually, and it has really bright colors, which I didn't like any of the colors. So I'm actually changing the color of this, and as you saw, first I colored it with my Sharpie marker, just to sort of color in the edges and make it all black, which I don't really need to do, I guess, because this metallic emerald, emerald creek embossing powder is so opaque you really wouldn't be able to see the color anyway but I colored some of the edges as well with the marker so that color of embossing powder that I used is champagne and I love how that how it coordinates with the gold sequins that I've used in the shaker and just the gold color sort of goes with the superhero idea I guess so I'm showing you here what they originally looked like in the package, and those get a thumbs down. But luckily I really like the font, so when I transform them with that embossing powder, I love how it turns out. Um, so that's a great way to get the most out of your letter stickers, whether they're chipboard or you could do this even with stickers, is to add some embossing powder to them. It makes it a really fun technique and alters them in a new way. So I just spelled out the word wonder with my black tile stickers and then added that title woman below it. And I'm just going to glue it on now with my um, glossy accents. I use this as it's a pretty strong adhesive. 
<clears throat> for small details, and that's available in the Emerald Creek shop as well, so definitely check that out. They have all the good stuff over there. And I don't know if I mentioned, but the Tim Holtz Distress crayons that I used on the background and the embellishments of the flowers, those crayons are also available in the Emerald Creek shop. So here I'm just pulling out some final embellishments that I think I could accent this page with, and I actually found quite a few great ones. So I have these pink sort of word stickers, um, and those are from Studio Calico from different kits that I ordered in the past, and I end up using the lighter pink ones, the darker red coral sort of color are chipboard, and the color didn't go as well. I'm also using those Recollections um, stickers that are, they look like studs to me, and those are from Halloween collection last year, but I really love using them on everything. And I'm just adding the word stickers. One of them says Remarkable, and I think the other one says something like Daily Life. And here are the final products. So definitely check out the Emerald Creek's shop and the blog and participate in the blog challenge, as well as check out my blog for more photos and details on this. Thank you so much for watching and I hope you have a wonderful week.